you know, I'm automatically attracted to beautiful. I just start kissing them. It's like a magnet. You just kiss. I don't even wait. And when you're a star, they let you do it. You can do anything. Whatever you want. Grab them by the pussy. <laughs> I can do anything. Donald Trump's lewd comments about women in a video from 2005 have put the Republican candidate in damage control. I was wrong and I apologize. In a video statement, he tried to explain that he's a different person. Anyone who knows me knows these words don't reflect who I am. I travel the country talking about change for America, but my travels have also changed me. But the vulgar words in the 2005 video, which was recorded as Trump arrived to film a cameo on a soap opera, led to a strong condemnation from Trump's running mate, Mike Pence, who in a statement said, I do not condone his remarks and cannot defend them. Meanwhile, other Republicans have been dropping their support, including New Hampshire Senator Kelly Ayotte and Utah Congressman Jason Chaffetz, who serves as chairman of the House Oversight Committee. I'm out. I, I, I can no longer, in good conscience, uh, endorse this person for president. It is some of the most abhorrent and, of, and offensive comments that you can possibly imagine. And staunch conservative Martha Roby, a representative from the deep red state of Alabama, issued a statement saying Trump's behavior makes him unacceptable as a candidate. Others, like Republican Senator Mike Lee from Utah, who has never backed Trump, are now calling for him to leave the race. You yourself, sir, Mr. Trump, have stated repeatedly that the goal, the objective, has got to be to defeat Hillary Clinton in November. It's per for precisely that reason, Mr. Trump that I respectfully ask you, with all due respect, to step aside, step down. But Trump on Saturday told the Wall Street Journal that there was zero chance he'd quit. And some Trump backers, like the evangelical activist Ralph Reed, are arguing that Trump's vulgar comments are less of a concern than other issues. He told CNN that he wants a candidate who will protect unborn life. I've said some foolish things. But there's a big difference between the words and actions of other people. Bill Clinton has actually abused women. and Hillary Trump's apology video suggests he might try to turn this latest controversy into an attack on Bill Clinton's past indiscretions. But long-serving GOP Senator Lindsey Graham was dubious of that approach. He tweeted, I don't believe the Bill Clinton defense will work as we impeached Bill Clinton. I was there.